Tampa's mayor says she expects a stay-at-home order to be coming soon in Hillsborough County and possibly statewide by Monday. Eight on your side's Justin Checker is live for us tonight at Raymond James Stadium with the very latest on this. And Justin, when might the stadium open up as this drive-through testing collection site for coronavirus? Uh, Rod, good evening. Mayor Jane Castor says hopefully by Monday, if not tomorrow. She says the state's emergency manager has promised that collection kits are on their way. Those are needed before they start collecting mouth and nose swabs here outside Ray J. The only reason we don't have a lot of positive cases is we don't have the ability to test on a large scale. Plans are in the works to ramp up COVID-19 testing in Tampa Bay by turning the Bucks Stadium and state fairgrounds into collection sites. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor says she wants the public to understand the purpose of a possible stay at home order. We understand that it's going to be an inconvenience, it's frustrating, but the quicker we take these steps, the quicker we'll be able to get through this. The mayor explaining to Aid on Your Side in order to stay at home won't be a total shutdown. If there is a stay at home, gas stations, uh, grocery stores, pharmacies, all of that will remain open. So there's no need for anyone to panic. Costco and Wesley Chapel is promoting social distancing by only letting in 25 members to shop at a time. The danger is the ease with which it is transmitted. Of the more than 650 confirmed cases statewide, 42 of them are in Hillsborough County. I asked Mayor Castor about whether Tampa's hospitals are prepared for a potential surge in patients. They have enough to, to get up and get moving, but everyone is very concerned about the lack of supplies, both in the collection kits, testing, and PPE. And PPE is the personal protective equipment that our medical workers need to stay safe. Now, if there's no statewide stay-at-home order in place by Monday, uh, the mayor says the Hillsborough Emergency Policy Group will discuss one at a 1.30 meeting Monday afternoon. And, Rod, one more note from the press conference. Uh, if you see a business that's open and shouldn't be, the mayor says to give the city a call. Again, the mayor says that everyone needs to do the little things like social distancing to hopefully help flatten the curve. Rod? Right. Justin Checker reporting live for us at Raymond James Stadium. Justin. Uh, thank you very much.